Great, so you want to learn how you can back up and restore your WordPress site with Updraft. In this short video, my friend Dave will show you everything you need to do. And don't forget, even a 12 year old like me can do it. Ok Dave, go ahead with the video. Dave here and in this video I'm going to show you how to use Updraft Plus Migrator plugin to migrate a WordPress site. In this particular example, we have two different websites open in these tabs up here. This is the uh, original website and you'll notice there's not much to it. There's no pages or anything like that. And then this other tab is the new website that we designed. And you'll notice it's installed to this subfolder called New WordPress Site. So what we want to do is we want to clone this website so when people visit this domain name, the new website comes up. There is a free plugin for Updraft Plus, but we're going to use the paid plugin, which is Updraft Migrator. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to log into the admin area of the new WordPress site that we designed. And we're going to go up here to Updraft Plus Backup. And one thing to check is you want to go to Settings and then scroll all the way down. I'm sorry, make sure these uh, are checked as well up here. And then scroll all the way down and go to Show Expert Settings. And make sure this is set to about 400 meg. And if it wasn't set to 400 meg, change it to 400 meg. Scroll down and click Save Changes. Okay, we're going to go back over to uh, Backup Restore, and then we're going to click Backup Now. We're going to make sure these first two are selected. Click Backup Now. And you'll notice the backup process is starting. And if you scroll down a little bit, you'll see uh, a new entry is going to be added uh, right in here. Okay, you'll notice the backup is done, and this is the new entry right here. And it has five different backups, and we're going to have to download all of these. In order to download them, we're just going to click on each of them, and you notice it pops open a window here, and it's looking for the download file. And once that pops up, you're going to click Download to your computer. And I'm just going to go to the desktop and save it in a new folder, and I'm going to call it uh, Boot Camp Tampa Migration, and click Save. And you notice that uh, was the database file. Next, we're going to go to Plugins. We're going to click that and give this a little, uh, a little bit, and then click Download to your computer. And we're going to save it in that same folder. We're going to do the same for themes. Sometimes it looks like it might get stuck, but you just got to uh, wait for it to complete. Now we can click download to your computer. Click save. And then now we're going to go to uploads and then download to your computer. Save. And then we're going to scroll down to and click others. And you notice down here, uh, this one is still downloading and these completed already. You can tell this one's downloading because you see the circle going around. So you got to wait for these to complete. Okay, now that you have the backups downloaded to your computer, you're going to want to go log in to your original WordPress site on your main domain. We're going to go to Dashboard and we're going to go to Plugins, Install Plugins. And we're going to look to see if Updraft Plus is already installed, which it is not. If you have the free version installed, you do have to remove it. We're going to go ahead and install the Updraft Plus Migrator plugin now. And we're going to go up here to Add New. And then we're going to go to Upload Plugin. And I'll give you the link to the download to this uh, in the description. Choose File. And I have it on my computer over here. And then Install Now. Now, like I said, this is not the free version. This is the Updraft Plus Migrator version. And this is a paid version, so you can only get it if, from us if you purchase the website through us or if, you know, we did work on the site or you have a web hosting account with us. We're we'll going to go ahead and click Activate Plugin. And you notice it's activated down here. To get to the plugin, I'm going to go up here and up to Updraft Plus and click Backup Restore. Now, the first thing I want to do is upload those backup files that I took from the new WordPress site we designed. On this page, we're going to go to Upload, Backup Files, and then we can select files. And then I saved them on the desktop in this Bootcamp Tampa Migration folder. I'm going to select all of them. I can select the, the first one, and then if I press the Control key and hold it down, I'm sorry, press the, the Shift key and hold it down, and then select the last one, it will select them all. Click Open, and you're going to see the upload progress. You do have to wait for all of them to say complete. You'll notice it's populating them down here. Sometimes it looks like they might hang up, but you just got to give it a little bit. It might take a few minutes. It might take five to 10 minutes, depending on your web hosting provider.
Okay, you'll notice the upload progress is completed and you'll see there's a backup for database plugins, themes, uploads, and others. We're gonna go ahead and click restore and then we're gonna select all of these. And then right here, make sure this is selected. And what, what this does, it's gonna replace uh, this URL of the old site with the new URL. Click restore. You do have to give it a bit. It looks like it's hung up, but it's actually working. You'll see a log uh, that shows when it's completed. So just leave it on this page. It can take up to a few minutes to complete. Okay, here's the log of the restore process. If you scroll all the way down, you'll see restore was successful. I'm going to go out and visit the main site. And you'll notice the new WordPress site that we designed is now under the main domain up here. It's a good idea to go through here and check to see if other pages are working. And it's also a good idea to go log into the admin area. I'm logging in over here on this tab. And go to settings, reading, and make sure search engine visibility, uh, you want this unchecked. It was previously checked because when we were building out the WordPress site in a subfolder, we didn't want the search engines to pick up those pages. So now since we moved this new website over to be on your main domain, we do want the search engines to pick up these pages. So you're gonna to wanna to make sure this is unchecked after you migrate the site and then click save changes. You're gonna also wanna go out to the main site and test the contact form, You know, fill it out, click send now and go check your email to see if you received uh, you know, your test message. Also check your spam folder because sometimes you know emails can get captured by your spam folder for any number of reasons. Also a good idea to go back out to the homepage and test this lead capture form right here. Also test the one down here. You just want to basically go, since this site is live now, you want to go through and test it out, see if there's any changes you need to make, see if there's any things you got to fix. So this concludes our video on how to migrate a WordPress site using Updraft Plus Migrator plugin. Wow. It sure is not that hard to back up and restore a WordPress site using Updraft, but if your site is over 500 megabytes, make sure to check out the manual method in one of the links below this video. Also since you took the time to watch I added some links to a few of my paid training courses that you can access free today. Make sure to check them out and don't forget to like and hit the notification bell if you want to get updated for any new training. Thanks for watching and take good care. Thank <laughs> you.